Hi there, this is Kat. I'm going to show you how to add your mesh on to your wire frame. Now, this video can be used for any solid color mesh and how you're gonna add it. Um, in this particular video, I'm gonna be showing you with the natural colored mesh um, to add it to your wreath form. When I describe the wreath, you have outer rings and inner rings. So when the way I do my wreaths are the, I consider these outer two um, rings to be my outer and the, the, these two to be the inner. So if you notice here, I've got one on the outer and this is inner. So you have 12 on the outs, outer ring and 12, nine on the inner ring. It doesn't matter where you start, it, the process is all the same, but you will have different, um, the mesh is different lengths depending upon whether you're outer or inner and just helps with the fullness. So. What you're going to do is there is a natural curl to the mesh work with it so the first side i'm going to start i'm going to kind of fold in and then i'm just going to use my table and kind of walk my fingers across the mesh till i get to the other side again rolling in that other side and folding it in this kind of keeps the cut edge more tucked under if you do not do not like the way it's um lying you can uh, or, or folding you can always uh, redo it the other option is you can actually take this side and kind of tuck it in more either edge if you're finding that those ends are sticking out more so again I'm going to pitch in the middle this is an outer one so I'm going to find an outer pipe cleaner set uh, pair and I'm going to try and get this as tight as I can it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to just put one twist in it you will add the ribbon on top of this, so you don't want to make a too huge of a, uh, of a twist. <clears throat> then I'll take my next one, and the mesh keeps, sticks to everything and clings to everything, so um, make sure you have a good walking surface. All right, again, I'm folding in that outer edge. I'm going to walk my fingers across until I get to the other side and fold that one in. See how this is sticking out? I'm going to take it and kind of tuck more like that. And there I have it. I'm going to go find my next set of pipe cleaners on the outer and put it on. Do not worry if they're overlapping each other or if they're going in funny directions. You will have time to adjust as you proceed with your weave. So basically I'm going to continue doing this for both the outer and inner meshes. There's no you just keep repeating this process. Um, and so it doesn't matter if you're using a different color, the, the, the whole process is the same. So at this point, I'm going to fast forward this video and you can just follow along um, or you know pause it or whatever you need to do. But I'm gonna make my way around. Once I'm finished with the outer, I'll come back in and post, place all the inner Okay, so we have got our mesh onto our wreath and now we're gonna move on to adding our ribbon. So I'm gonna move my wreath out of the way and I'm gonna bring my ribbon in. You have 10 different patterns of ribbon. So you have kind of four different sets in kind of the orange rust family. You have four in the greens and then you have 
and each of these you have four of each ribbon and then you have five of this one and this natural so I'm going to kind of pair it up just like that and so I'm going to put the natural with this cute pumpkin in the wheelbarrow and I'm going to go ahead and match all my ribbon up now um, you can certainly mix these ribbons any which way you choose. You could mix them all up entirely. You could put a green with this. You could put, you know, one of the patterns, the rust patterns with it. I'm just making it really simple and I'm going to pair it up in this fashion. And again, you could still do these two together and then you could mix all these four together and make them so that they're different ones associated with one another. But to keep it simple, I'm gonna do it this way. And again, this is your wreath, so make it your own. Change it up. Um, that's the whole point of, of these, is for you to have an opportunity to be creative as well. So in here, I'm probably gonna do these two together. And do you understand too, when, you're, when you get your kit, the wreath pattern, the wreath patterns, the ribbon patterns may have changed just based on my availability of what rib ribbons I have. Um, but they will all coordinate and be within the same family, so to speak. So, um, you know, you might not have this one, but you may have another um, rust pattern. So, okay, I've got those kind of set up. I'm going to kind of put orange over here, and I'm going to kind of move my green ones over here, and I'm going to start off with this one. Since there are five of them, I want to make sure I kind of get them kind of well spread out around my wreath. So, I'm going to kind of think of this as like a clock and I'm going to put my ribbon on kind of at the, you know, around the 12. Well, most of the ribbon I'm going to kind of do around 12, three, you know, six, nine, and, you know, just shifting my wreath around. Since there are five of these, I'm going to need to do it a little bit different where they're going to have to be a little bit more offset. But, um, so to start, you're going to take your ribbon and this is kind of, I'd like to kind of get that edge down, um, and kind of make an accordion type fold in the middle. And I'm gonna do the same with the pattern. And then I'm gonna overlap them and kind of form an X and put them into one hand. All right, move these out of the way. So I'm gonna just start right here. Um, in fact, I think I'll start on the inside. So I'm gonna find the opening of two pipe cleaners and I'm going to place the ribbon inside the middle. I'm gonna take those pipe cleaners and twist them one time and then I'm gonna feed it to the back side, the, the pipe cleaners that is. So I'm gonna flip this over so I can show you. Okay, so I've got my two ten ends of my pipe cleaners. I'm going to pull them as tight as I can get them. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you want it so that it's not slipping. And I'm gonna twist a couple times. We are gonna come back and finish off the back of the wreath where we'll tuck these in and everything, but for now, we're just gonna leave them like that. Okay, so now I've got my ribbon, my first ribbon on. I'm going to rotate it slightly. Now, one thing about this pattern with the wheelbarrow is you do need to pay attention to the orientation of your ribbon. And what I mean by that is um, you want the, you want the um, pattern to be kind of going the right direction. Um, so if you're hanging up, you, it's all kind of, they're not upside down. Um, but it doesn't matter. I've done, I've actually done some where I realized, oh, nah, I mixed them up and there are some upside down. It totally is fine um, because you're looking at the overall effect of the wreath and not at the individual, necessarily at the individual patterns. But when you're putting it on, it is helpful to kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so I've got two on. Again, I'm going to rotate this slightly. And I'm going to add my next one. So I'm going to do this and here. And I'm going to kind of, the mesh will catch on to everything. I'm going to kind of come maybe over here and maybe I'll do this one on the inside. Maybe right here. Okay. There we 
we go. I'm going to rotate one more time. And I'm going to try and put two in this on the outer side between these two. So I'm going to here and here. And I'm probably going to go right about here on this outer. And you will want to alternate between some on the inside, some on the outside, just to spread your patterns out. All right. And my last one, I'm going to grab here. So now at this point, we've got those patterns on, and then I'm going to start filling in with the rest. So you can pick your favorite, next favorite pattern and kind of start mixing those in. You can completely just separate, do them um, really any way you want. Um, again, you will kind of want to pay attention to the shape, to the pumpkins, and kind of keep them so that they are going somewhat the same direction as your wheelbarrow print is. So I think I'll start putting one here. And at this point, I'm just going to start filling in. So I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. Um, and you can pause it to see where I'm placing mine. Or just have fun with it. And we will come back and I'll walk you through the next step, which will be finishing off the wreath. <laughs> 